So I came across some interesting uh, information. Uh, it's new to me, maybe not new to some of you guys, but it, I'm sure it's new to a lot of folks. Out of the African people and European holidays and mental genocide by uh, Ashokamu's Ash um, by Ashango, book one, it talks about how St. Augustine um, is uh, so-called black. Uh, we would say uh, Asiatic, original man being Asia, being the the whole uh, world name Asia. At one time, all the continents were one continent. However, we'll go with so-called black for conversation reasons. And um, saying St. Augustine, which is the oldest city in America, uh, United States, should I say, uh, was named after him. And the Span Spaniards, so-called Spaniards, um, is the one, you know, rule was, had founded St. Augustine, which uh, to me indicates some um, Moorish descent, uh, some African descent, certainly. But I thought it very interesting. This is the Catholic Herald, right? And it goes on to talk about this how uh, St. Augustine was from Niger Algiers. I'm trying to see if I can locate the paragraph that said that. Um, but it also went into about Paul, <laughs> um, indicating that Paul uh, was African. I, I, I subscribe that... Uh, Many of the said uh, disciples, and of course, our brother said Jesus uh, was a brother. <laughs> but um, let me see if I can find that little piece. Um, it's going on about too about how Rome was a was the America of today. It was integrated. All different types of ethnic and nationalities was there and they came under uh, the um, monarchy of uh, being Roman. Uh, some of the best Christian, that's not it, let's see. Professor Beard makes it clear. Professor Mary Beard, obviously, she's making note of the diversity and racial diversity of Roman citizens. Um, just trying to get that little piece where it said I was Algiers. I forgot I can use my computer like this. Here it is. So it says here, Professor, as Professor Beard makes clear, Rome empire was ethically diverse and that it allowed people to migrate on uh, one end uh, of it to other. Hence, there was people from Syria, Algeria, Ethiopia. Um, let's go to the next one. Here it is. Some of the best known people of an antiquity are Christians. Foremost, foremost of them is the inventor of autobiography, Aurelius, Augustinus, who we call St. Augustine. Y'all see that? He was born in Thagaste, North Africa, in present-day Algeria. Uh, that is also <laughs> the area of the Moroccan Empire. Um, the Moabites. He was through he was a thorough Roman and was uh and we have no idea at all about his personal appearance. All pictures and statues we have of him tell us what various artists thought he ought to look like. However, let's jump down here. However, uh, his mother called Monica, or some scholars render Monica. You can see how America is in that word to come from some of these words. 
uh, which again re relates back to uh, uh, the Moors or so-called blacks, right? Assuming she too was a native of Thagaste and gave the clue in her name, it is assumed by many that Monica was of Berber origin. And Berber, see, some people try to, you know, make a difference between like Berber and uh, Arabian or Arab, but these were all uh, Asiatic people. These were all so-called blacks, right? Uh, different shades and different folks and things like that. So it's interesting to me that I could, I can come here and get this, right? And I can go to an article on the history of St. Augustine, right? And they are talking about, they begin with the slaves. <laughs> um, I saw that in a St. Augustine news article that was talking about the history. Here it is, this right here. In St. Augustine, black history begins at the beginning. And if you click this on, right, it's probably going to give me some ads. What do you first you see? The first thing you see is Dr. Martin Luther King, right, the picket line, and they're fighting about uh, don't buy in segregated St. John's County, right? So it's just a total, total mischaracter. I mean, you start out, how you start out in 1960s, when you're talking about the history of so-called black history, when clearly it goes back to the very foundation of the city itself, right? The city itself. And most likely it goes back even further showing how our people were already over here. And that's why St. Augustine, so-called St. Augustine was able and the founders and the uh, so-called Spanders was able to honor the man and honor the people that was in the land. You know, it, it makes total sense why they would name the place that because the people, uh, the people usually are connected to the land and associated to the land. And so these names, right, um, is something that they, they represent actually more history than what they're giving us. And that's for a reason, you know, to keep our people oppressed, never having knowledge of self. And when you can't uh, honor your mothers and fathers, right, uh, you can never be, you can never manifest uh, that DNA, that, that, that DNA connection with you because you are your ancestors return, right? So that's just a little something that I found very interesting. Hopefully you found find it interesting. And maybe want to look into it even further. So peace and love. It's my Sherelle. I see y'all in the wind.